I'm getting shit for loot items. My immunity is below half. I think we're only getting worse over time. I'm on the verge of death. Same question as last game, where you just thinking, like, you would expect that the town doctor, that the whole everything hinges upon, would get some kind of supplies for them to survive. Not just the plague, but like day to day. Ah, safe point, it's been a while. I think I'm seeing double. Fancy meeting you here. Am I disturbing you? No, I'm content. As you can see, Khan has deigned to ask us for help. That's almost like admitting he's wrong. I'd never ask him for anything, however badly we needed it. Pride is more important. We can live without him. He can't live without us. As they say, QED. What does he want from you? We need to find an abandoned house. The dog heads, the snobs, only see things from their ivory tower. My soul and a halves know the town inside and out. Abandoned house is most of all. What kind of house? The house of death. Have you heard the story? The candles, the dawn, the locked door? No. Things like what's happened yesterday and the day before. They never happened. People died, yes, but not like this. Death has come to town, and death is quite a bird. A home bird, to be precise. So when he comes, he stays in an abandoned house. Even death needs a place to rest. So death is a stay-at-home kind of guy. Huh. Death comes at midnight. That's when trouble starts. But if someone were to find his house before midnight, then either stay there till dawn, or light candles inside. He'd be stalled. Also, you're supposed to become a mortal. But I don't believe that last part. But you believe the rest of it. When there's smoke, there's fire. Khan is right about this part, at least. There's a grain of truth in any legend. To hell with old grudges for now. My scouts and I are looking for the house of death today. We'll start with the crude sprawl. I have a hunch it's there. Since you're old man, I mean... Since so many people died there, that's where death must feel at home. I'll find this place myself, see if there's any merit to this story. I'm not going to cower be some other, behind another man. And I want to show Khan, the, the pedagogue, how we do things for, or down here. Let them hide in the tower, we'll do the work. that so? Okay, boy. We'll get there together. Just gonna dump this idea on me, huh? What? <laughs> Death found himself a home in the crude sprawl. It sounds like an urban legend, but where the smoke there's fire. He said stay there till dawn or light candles inside. Oh. Easy access, at least. It's the way the hell down there. Yeah. Right next to Aspidy's house. Is this area safe? I think this area... I think... Yeah. He wants me, want me to check on the brothers, but... First of all, it, it says that... It doesn't say that he's in danger. And now that I'm here, there's several other characters here. Like, more than I would think that the game would even expect me to be able to defend it at once. But I think this area, these three districts are infected. I think the crude sprawl and the factory are currently fine. At least this area hasn't turned red yet. When I walked in, I'm technically already here. Hmm. They might be riffing a bit on the doppelganger idea from the last game. This case being this idea that maybe instead of trying to protect every individual person one by one that might 
be affected by the threat today. Maybe you can find the house of death each day to just stop anyone from dying? I wonder if there'll be a character there or not. God, my health is low. I better be able to be able to buy food Why here. Does everyone come to gawk at me? Game here to have some fun sawbones? Plague is a time for feasts. So I hear you're an architect. Sure am. Have you seen the dancing bridge in the capital? You built th you built that? That's right. And the polyhedron? What do you think? It's one of yours too, I gather. How'd you even come up with something like that? One must be able to think boldly. The ground is nothing but dirt. Nothing but soil hiding rotting corpses. It's the realm of the dead. We've always wanted to create something that the earth cannot touch, cannot defile in any way. I've always considered earth to be the source of life. What a lout. Have you checked up on my brother yet? If he's so anti-earth, it's a little weird that he has a deep underground uh, bar. I have. I took care of him. Great job. Have a drink on me, then. Give me the bottle and keep your compliments. Take good care of my brother, Doctor. If I kick the bucket, so be it. But my brother must survive. He is a genius. And you're not. I am the battering ram that clears his path. Me and him are perfect twins. The local climate is good for twins. It reveals secrets. Doesn't do much for the stomach, though. Oh boy. But he's healthy. This whole place seems to be safe. Blood Dwyer costs three times as much today. Lucky me. Blood Twire. Yep. Boop, boop, boop. Food me. <laughs> Food me, you bastard. <laughs> uh, gotta sell my Twire collection just to eat. Uh, every, all the stuff that's only 50 is a bummer, though. Ah, that's why I said three times. So these three are a category that is stronger. The three Twires are weaker, and Sveri, White Whip, and Ashen Swish are probably what makes the stronger one, uh, tinctures that I made. That's what I'm forced to hope is true. I've just got to get somewhere with this food. I don't know. I could save for later, but I'm just- I'm just so desperate for money- money all the time. The only place I can do this kind of trade. Alright, so I've got some more food. It'll last a little longer. Ate into my Twire supplies, but I already brewed a few copies of everything, so that'll probably last me a bit. Just please do something about my hunger before I have to deal with... I swear to God, man. Like, it was... It's just like such a drop in the bucket. They're so mean in this game about hunger. This is some next level shit compared to before. Can I talk to you? Nope. Yeah, pro tip if you want to live. Stay in this bar. But don't let anyone else know that it's safe here. Because it would just get flooded. But this seems like a pretty 
nice place to be hanging out during the plague. Uh. Yeah, I guess I kind of knew it was safe here already because I've been to this boundary before. Please fix my horrible thirst problem. There we go. Uh. Welcome to Chillsville. It's very dark. I'm low on health. It's all around not a good time. But you know what? Haven't died yet. And I've saved recently. So if I do die, I won't lose a lot of time. Ah, uh, yeah. You're new. I get a lot of visitors, huh? For you, Amshen. Heart, liver, kidneys, they still smell of life. You've killed someone and cut them open, Odong. Is that true? Make portions, as your father. Make potions, as your father. Cure us from grief, poison, envy, aches. He made any cure when he got had good meat. This is good meat. Take it. Only a menku can cut a body. Is there a menku among you? No, Yagashin. We have broken the law. Those who do not know the lions cannot cut buddies. We will give our lives. Mine and Kuse. No others. But why? You need these, Yagashin. Real potions have meat, Unente. Herbs have borders. Your great father used to have used more than herbs. He made cures from blood and flesh. From those alive. But what does it have to do with me? I'm sorry, what kind of cures? Any kind. Cures for pain. Cures for fever. Cures for the inner fire. Cures for all three layers of the body. Those who know the lions can cure any disease with guts and herbs. This is how the world works. So it's a universal method. Curious. These are a gift. So you don't risk your life. Don't cut the living unless there is need. Don't cut the dead unless there is a need. Even if you're a good Menku, Bodo does not like it. Better we suffer than you. <sighs> Still wondering how this is going to play out. They keep saying that they will know if you go if you cut people. I'm wondering if there's a balancing thing, because uh, God, like last game, I just casually ran around with like 130 hearts in my inventory, because there was just so many goddamn nighttime enemies attacking you, and you just tear everything out of them. I'm wondering if there might be consequences for going all in. This time, they keep hinting at it. I definitely recoil a bit when the game straight up tells you that, uh, when the game straight up mentions that you, uh, that they'll know. It's like the same notation system that a game, like, by Bethesda would use to, to tell you that people will see you if you try to steal something right now. There might also be a balancing thing in that I haven't really checked into it very much, but the, uh, the scalpel might. Uh, be damaged significantly by the surgeries. But I do have a bunch of whetstones, and if I t stay on top of it, I think I can keep whetstoning them without having to use the other items to pick up the slack. By Allah, I accept your gift and your sacrifice. Oh, these guys. Medicine can be made from herbs, water, and human in insides. Various kinds of medicine, including ones that can't be bought in stores. But I need to- I probably need to prepare the- repair the- the pieces of equipment that would let me do that. Wow, hearts are big. Isn't a liver bigger than a heart? Maybe not. Whenever I see hearts, they do seem to be un- unexpectedly large. 
Ah, uh, you can't store any two organs in one of these pouches. Because they're different shapes and stuff. Huh. Can't even store them all in this pouch. Because the heart would take these up, and that would be another one, the other one's vertical. You have to store them in- if you want to keep them all in the same place, they have to be in the big one. The kidney. The body is a perfect representation of the universe. However, the steppe people are not so naive as to correlate organs and bones to cosmic or geographical features. First and foremost, they refer to connections and circulation. Heart. In steppe lore, the center of mind and knowledge is the liver, while the center of feeling and emotion is in the lower guts. They view the heart as a less crucial and rather mechanical organ that simply pumps life around, oddly arriving at a consensus with science-based medicine. Liver. A body is not to be cut open. It's only allowed for menku. Wise men who know where a body want, wants to give, and butchers who accept sin. The word for butcher, yargashin, also means surgeon. Ah, I've seen that word before. I can start actually figuring out what these words mean over time. I have blood again. They gave me blood. There we go. So with that, I can gather herbs again. Poof. This knife is not in good shape. I need something. Ah, uh, what, what was I thinking about that I need? I was thinking that I need to go in here. What do I need? I got distracted by that dialogue a bit. Was it related to the organs? Matches. Matches. There we go. Yeah. 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 Because my goal is to light all of the candles, potentially. I'm trying this, I'm trying this. Uh, I need to find... No, I don't have anything to increase my health. I'm straight up out. Let's bring the morphine just in case I end up sleeping in the house. I don't know if that'll be really an option, but maybe I spend the night there by actually sleeping there. I don't know. God, I'm so hungry already. How is this balanced, I wonder? It's probably because I'm not cutting enough people up. You probably need to cut up a ton of people. And then with all the organs you have, you now the economy makes sense, right? I could see that being it. Like, maybe I haven't been cutting up enough people at night, and so I don't have just this fortune that I can spend on food. Food. Or matches. Seven matches. Damn. Every trash can I find is empty. I haven't been to any of these areas lately. And yet, they're all emptied. Shit. Ah. Your, tr your house is... Yeah. This house is diseased. There's a door. I'm a little worried what's going to be like in here. Alright. What could go wrong? You know what, this is going to be one of those times where I'm plenty happy to spend a match. Frankly, I'm going to make this trip count. <laughs> oh, look, matches. Because, yeah, I'm not in a good spot, just generally speaking. Don't know if I'll survive the night. Isn't this fun? So if nothing else, I need the money to buy food on my way out. A package. 
Oh, please be good. I don't like how packages are handled. I like packages because it's like, yay, loot. Oh, loot, good. But there's no loot screen. Like the package doesn't open up into a new window where you open where that is a pack like that is its own container that you take the items out of. So unless they're brand new, really obvious items, I straight up can't tell what the package had in it. <laughs> I'm just like, ah. Eh. Whatever new items I had, they're there and oh a bloody bandage. What a f horrible thing to get for my last needle. That's all I have. Unless I find more in here, which would be great. Just finding more matches. I mean, that's nice of you. So far, not being assaulted with plague, so that's good. Getting some money out of this. <sighs> Needles, please. They're probably not going to give me any, because this is the actual looting place. Uh, do I have coffee? Walnuts. It's not really food either. It's some dead items. Got that going for me. Yeah. Pretty sure that that uh, walnuts are basically worthless for food, right? Did my lamp go out? I think it did. Oop. Time to pull that back out. I don't know if I pressed F on accident or if it goes out after a time. Come on, food, please. The day is over. Today was a turning point. Fates have decided at midnight. If you want to protect someone, take care of them before nightfall. A new a new pantomime is being rehearsed at the theater. <laughs> Uh, you managed to protect the crude, the crude sprawl from infection. Did I? What? Not kin. It didn't say he was in danger. Hey, Nakin. What the fuck? Uniform. What the fuck? Each day is followed by a shorter night, and each night by a yet shorter day. The end is closer than you think. Why are they right fucking here? Hang on a minute, I'm gonna finish exploring with my lantern out before... Yeah, there doesn't seem to be threats in here. How did Notkin get infected? He's right here. There's no threat. God, I want to come back here with needles. But I'll probably, it'll probably like res- Whew. Let's not touch that body. It's in an infected district. I don't want to play with that. I don't trust that at all. Why are Notkin and Khan both in here? What do you want? So you're here after all. Who locked us in here? Are your friends playing some kind of awful prank? Are you stupid? Our friends would never do that. Something strange really is happening. Like what? We're dead now. Do you think we'll get sick? We'll see. So what do we do? I don't know. I guess we can try lighting candles, like in that urban legend of yours. Are you for real? This place will be less gro gloomy at the, in the light. The door is locked behind us. The urban legend was right. 
Following its logic, I need to inspect the house and light up the candles I can find, or wait until dawn. <sighs> Not gonna make it to dawn. <laughs> ah, this game's hard. I just don't- I don't have a single item for hunger or exhaustion, and I have a lot of items. <laughs> I'm kicking my ass here. Little candle. Stupid idea, but it's the best I've got. Sure, why not? I'm sorry about your father, Burach. He was a man of great humanity. Huh? You came here too? That's lucky. Something does feel off. I think there's someone else here beside us. Who? Perhaps it is Death himself. I never would have said this before, but everything happens. Come now, perhaps some drifter just got in. Did I save the crude sprawl by coming here? Like, did it actually kind of work? But it worked preemptively, didn't it? Because I... The fuck? That's not a... What the fuck? Oh, did my gloves just break? I mean, my durability's dropped like crazy on all my stuff. <sighs> Not a good sound. I don't see anything to light in this room. Found three candles. You know what? Fuck it. I died. Oh, did that maximize my infection or something? Which thing killed me? Did, did I die? Hi? We're all strong enough to support one another's misfortune. Is it my line now? Oh yes, you're right. Here I go. Go back, my friend. The door's over there. How did I get here? Oh no, no, wrong line. Let's try this again. I was dead. So I wasn't completely dead. As a director of our theater, I will now inform you of the most important pillar of your role, silence in the audience. So. With each death of a new actor, we will all face irreversible consequences. Got it? Irreversible. Irreversible? Are you familiar with the word? The world you're acting in changes with each <clears throat> stage death of our hero forever. Even if we had a chance to trick time, go back and start over from a turning point, the consequences of death would remain. So what happens next? Any actor who continues Burke's path in place of the previous Burke will have it harder than their predecessor. Such is the theater of cruelty. Each death makes the role harder. You will become burdened with the consequences of your predecessor's deaths, their negligence. Well-timed percussion. <laughs> what sort of consequences? Unpleasant and painful. You won't be able to make a step without a drink of water. How's that? Without being able to touch... A, the, what about being unable to touch a close one? Or growing as weak as a five-year-old child? Your life force is already dwindled and it will keep dwindling with each consequent death. Each and every one of them. Why are you doing this? I warned you. Each new attempt will be harder. When one actor dies, the next finds themselves even closer to the abyss. 
try and finish this piece in one go. You, personally, so that no one has to replace you. Have pity on your successor. I'll touch clocks more often from now on. Forewarned, forearmed. Didn't I make it clear enough that clocks won't help you? A clock is just a point from which a successor begins, but they still carry their predecessor's mistakes. Else we'd never solve this riddle. What riddle? I'll explain it in your successors. I'll explain it to your successors if you fail. Clearly those will be beyond help anyway. Those third-rate phonies. So I'll have to spell everything out to them. Wonderful. You're a curious person. You make me regret I'm a surgeon, not a psychiatrist. Fuck, what happened to me? My exhaustion and hunger are still maxed out, too. Like, I didn't... I guess he probably restarted my health. Ay ay ay. So I, I had no items for health, no items for exhaustion, no items for food. And I was out of money. And I've been dumping all of my money directly into food, only to have it deplete instantly. I... I don't know. I'm not sure how to keep up with the speed of the decay in this game. It's brutal. The meters were a constant hamper last game, but they were manageable. In fact, maybe too manageable, because eventually you hit a point where... What? Okay. All right, so this is going to be a fun problem. So it sent me, it didn't make me continue forward with full health. Instead, it sent me back to a previous save. So I've made, so anything I did is undone, essentially. Uh, but I've lost maximum health. Well, now I'm curious. He said that my sa he said that uh, my clocks won't save me. So let's rewind all the way to day one. I'm just kind of picking a random one. I have to know. I have to know whether or not the permanent punishment will stay. Because holy shit, man. Are they trying to trump from software's things where like, oh, you failed? We'll make it harder to make you extra fucked and more likely to fail more. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. All right. So the saves have a meta thing going on where each one's not a true save state. That is, it's unique, entire, permanent, like, screenshot. I mean, I mean, snapshot of that moment. They all exist in an overall ecosystem of your character's status across all of those saves. That is not specific to that save, but the combined folder, basically. So while you can go back in time and save scum things you do and choices you make and try to re-optimize your day, you still permanently lose chunks of your meter. And that doesn't look small, that looks like it might be like 5% already. 5% per death would be a lot. Fuck. Mm-hmm. Look at all this food I have in my inventory. Remember when I had food? <laughs> Fuck. All right, well, I'm gonna take a break because this is something to think about. And I'd rather, I'm gonna not continue right now. I'll have to figure out next session if I want to rewind back further in time because 
I think I've trapped myself in a rough situation where I'm stuck with no food, no resources, and a situation... The situation I had to go into wasn't necessarily that hard, because it was just go in there and light some candles, apparently. No apparent threat showed up. But yeah, the lack of ability to heal my problems here is rough. Huh. Yep. I think things are going to get pretty desperate. I mean, they're going to have to, like, be really proactive about, like, mass murdering any thugs I can find at night. Or I'm going to have to, like, really start getting into, like, stealing from people as much as I can. Like, going into houses, maybe the abandoned ones or whatever during the plague or something, and just grabbing everything I can. There's got to be something I can do. I would prefer to beat the game on the intended difficulty if I can. I know I'm aware they added a bunch of difficulty sliders because uh, a lot of people complain about the difficulty. And I was really curious what that what they meant by that because of course I was still in the first days when people were complaining and I'm like, I don't... I mean, I don't know. But yeah, this entire day, while nothing challenging happened in the the actual day itself, like the events of the day didn't really hit me with anything besides, hey, go talk to a bunch of people, and oh no, the plague's happening, but it's kind of, you know, it's fine. The plague didn't get me yet, or do anything disastrous. Uh, I, in fact, I literally was never attacked by a person today. So it's been alright, event-wise. But just the entire time... Like, exhaustion's one thing, because I can sleep to fix that. But hunger has just been at a race. And I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, because I just am a garbage disposal of food, and yet it just never... I can't even make a dent in it. I feel like the multipliers of hunger somehow got harder each consecutive day, which maybe it did, because maybe the twirines and bloom and all that to an even further extent, or maybe there's some mechanic I don't understand, but... Or maybe somehow exhaustion affects hunger or something weird, but I... I don't know. I need to find a new source of a new source of resources, I guess, if this is possible in game, because mathematically my approach just it just dead ends. It just zeroes out and dooms me. Uh, there is not a what this cannot my my approach cannot sustainably get that hunger meter anywhere. We'll see. I'm gonna take a break.